Japan has a rich and deep history spanning over thousands of years. With a rich culture and a vibrant language, you'd have to wonder, how did Japan become such a great place that we know today? Konnichiwa. Hi, my name is Paris, and today I'm going to be discussing the early settlers of Japan, the Shomen people. The Shomen period, which also coined the name for the people of that time, settled in Japan around 14,500 BCE. It's been theorized that they came over to the archipelago during the end of the last ice age, possibly following animal herds. They for sure followed their stomach. bridges melted that connected the island of Japan to the mainland, the Jomans had become sedentary people, living in the villages near the sea and inland. Talk about getting stranded! The Jomen people were communal people, and this is seen with how their shelters evolved. They went from simple shelters that protected them from the elements, to pit houses that had central fireplaces. These structures could house up to five people comfortably, and comfortable is what these people got. By 5000 BCE, the population of the Zhongmen people grew from 20,000 to 100,000, and at one point exceeded 200,000 people. That's the thesis. At this point, their populations were supported by hunting and gathering, as they could not seem to figure out agriculture and farming. that lived by the sea relied on seafood, while the villages that lived inland relied on animals, plants, and fruits and seeds. The Jomen people are known for their pottery, as archaeologists have found some of the oldest pottery ever dated. The name Jomen means cord marked or patterned. They used pottery for everything, and it evolved over time as well. Early versions of their pottery had round bottoms and were intended for outside use only, as they would use the sand or dirt to study them. But eventually, it evolved into flat bottoms so that they could, use, so that they could be used indoors. In the middle of the Jomen period, the Jomen increasingly started to elaborately decorate their pottery, as common imagery were flames and snakes. Pottery wasn't just used for cooking, as it was used in some religious ceremonies as well. The Jomen people were very religious. Their polytheistic religion were depicted by Dogu figurines. They were widespread and numerous throughout Japan during this period. A lot of them were similar to Venus figurines. They represented fertility for women. When it came to burying loved ones, they would put infants in large jars. But for everyone else who couldn't fit in the jars, the Jomen put them in burial mounds. For an unknown reason, when males entered puberty, they would pull out their teeth. The Jomen period marked the start of Japan's rich history. The Jomen people made Japan what it is today. They were the foundation layer. Without Jomens following their stomachs across the ice bridge, 21st century Japan wouldn't have brought us technological advances in anime. Arigato gozaimasu.